Hi, and welcome to my video series of Mobile Explained in 3 minutes, where I explain a concept in Mobile in less than 3 minutes. So stay tuned and watch till end. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Today's video will talk about the difference between genomic DNA library and the cDNA library. So genomic DNA library would contain all the representation of all the genes of a particular cell, but a cDNA library would contain all the genes that are expressed at a given point of time at a, under a given circumstances. So in shorter terms, cDNA library each is much smaller than a genomic DNA library because imagine if a cell has 26,000 genes, genomic DNA library would have information about all these 26,000 genes, but the cDNA library won't have 26,000 information about 26,000 genes because at a point of time 26,000 genes are not expressed. So the cDNA library would have information about less than 26,000 of genes, right? Now genomic DNA library contains sequence information about both intron and exon because now in, in terms of genome the DNA comprises of both intron and exon but when it comes to transcriptome only the exon is trans only the exon is transcribed and like in eukaryotes the exon is alternatively spliced and the mRNA contains only the exon the cDNA have only sequence information about the exons about no introns is there so in short cDNA libraries has less information less sequence information than the genomic DNA library now let's take a look at what are the vectors in which genomic DNA library and cDNA library could be built. So the genomic DNA library could be built on either bacterial artificial chromosome, which has carrying capacity from 100 kilobase pair to 300 kilobase pairs, or lambda phage vectors. Now cDNA library could be uh, generated using lambda phage uh, uh, insertion vectors like lambda GT, 10, 11, or lambda ZAP series. Now let's talk about the genomic DNA library, how much we have to screen in order to get the information about the recombinants. So minimum number we have to screen is, let's say if we talk about the human genome and which is 2.8 into 10 to the power 6 kilobase pair and we have our insert size which is 20 KB, approximately we have to screen even more than 1.4 into 10 to the power 5 individual recombinants. But in reality, the number is way more which is like 4.2 into 10 to the power 5 recombinants. But the number is way less in terms of cDNA library because at a point of at a given point of time, less genes would be expressed than the maximum number of genes. So let's say if the 20,000 gene is expressed and we have total 26,000 genes in human, then number of recombinants to screen in order to get the sequence information is way lesser in case of the sequence uh, in, in case of the C cDNA library right so it's in simple terms cDNA library is easier to handle and screen and easily manageable whereas whereas the genomic DNA library is vast and hard to man manage difficult to manage so if I hope you enjoyed this video it's a short video but it has all the information that would cover up your ass before the day of your exam thank you